Hello from Texas. We finally got some beautiful weather. Um, we've had some pretty severe weather that's prevented me from working in the yard a little bit, but we got some weather today and we're going to get it going. I wanted to show you like what I discovered about building these fences. Oh my gosh, I wish I would have known this from the beginning. If you will notice, I'm going to kind of show y'all how I built this fence right here. I've been through a couple of trial and error situations with different building material. And I wanted to find something that was quick, easy. Things are very heavy sometimes, like that privacy board. And um, I needed something practical, cheap, that I could do physically, but really have some privacy. Um, so this right here, if you notice right here, we have a little space there. When you're building these fences, you need to consider that these little spaces are gonna drive you crazy because all the rest of it's gonna be blacked out. If you will notice, this is extremely private. On the other side is my carport over there. Right there is my carport and this is extremely private. I have another fence on the other side of this that I connected this to, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. I really like the way this turned out. It was very easy. Um, right here, so we have the French doors are right here that open up into this area. This is my porch area, as you can see right here. This, we're gonna have to put the pool over here underneath this tarp because the storm tore up the other one and I'll show you all that, you know, in a few. What I did was we put the concrete slabs down that we got at a garage sale. Um, so we're going to move the tarp over here that was actually destroyed by the storm. I'm going to put that tarp down on this concrete and we're going to put the pool over here. The problem that we're going to run into is that this is a bamboo. Um, I used two bamboo fences over a canopy to make the roof so it's not, it's not like waterproof. It's going to have stuff coming through. So I'm either going to have to figure out putting plastic on this or just put a good cover over the pool, but we'll work, so we'll figure that out later. As you know, I'm the queen of zip ties. I'm about to ready to show you how I made a privacy fence for just a little bit of money um, and it worked out well. Behind here is the black tarp that was underneath the pool in the back before it got destroyed. What I did with that black tarp was underneath here, I don't want a lot of leaves and stuff gathering. I don't want bugs getting behind it. We're in Texas. We got a lot of that kind of stuff. But I wanted it kind of nice looking, but I wanted it completely private. I put the bamboo fence up and doubled it. It wasn't private enough. So I took this tarp right here, and it's the black tarp that was underneath the pool. And I put it behind here, and I attached it with zip ties. I don't know if y'all can see these zip ties right here. I've got some poles that I added I've been building on this a while, so you'll just have to check out the other videos. And then I put the tarp on it the best I could with zip ties, but then I had to get some nails right over here. Don't y'all love my, this is my entrance that we made. <laughs> this is a hundred year old door. I attached it to this. This is the chain link fence that I had when I got here and I attached it with zip ties, okay? And then I took this over here. I found these poles in my yard and I put those poles right there and put some stuff on it. Um, so this is the front. This is very private. This has a little space here. We're gonna work on it. Um, but this is the fence that I have outside back here and it has a lot of holes and it's not real sturdy. Um, I wanted it completely private. So this is what we're looking at now. Like I said, I put the bamboo fence over it and it didn't work. Um, I put some other stuff and I didn't like it. I want it private. So the tarp behind that bamboo fence was fantastic. This tarp was not very much money. If you go to Harbor Freight, zip ties and tarps are 100% cheaper. Um, and then also the bamboo fence, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and it's around $30. It went up a couple of dollars. So I took the tarp and I attached it with zip ties and then I had to go back in some areas and put a nail because I want it really sturdy. When the wind starts blowing, I don't want it making noise and all that. I pulled it around here, as you can see, zip tied it, but I'm about ready to secure it. Um, and when I get done securing it, it's going to, it's going to work really well, if you can tell. Um, but the, the part back here that got... They got blown away and tore up. Let me see if I can come over here and show y'all real quick. Okay. That's what the storm did to the tarp. The tarp was huge. It covered this whole area. It was actually that tall. If I would have known what I knew today, I would have taken, this tarp right here was like five, five, six dollars. I could have took bamboo poles, zip tied, this tarp to bamboo poles and then put that bamboo fence in front of it. See this fence, I, I spent a little bit of money on some wood. I went to Home Depot and I got it on clearance in the back. 
just a little bit, not a lot, but I got it on sale. And then I built two different things over here. Thought it was gonna be really sturdy, but honestly, this has worked out better. Right over here, I took those bamboo poles that I got for free. And I show y'all in other videos how to find free items to build with. And then as you see here, that's my, that's the original fence. And I zip tied it to it and I zip tied the bamboo to that fence and zip tied the tarps. Now, when I put that bamboo fence over that, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and it's completely private. Like this, uh, this one, I, I had a, I had a fence that was beautiful and I, I tore it down because um, I wanted it more private. And then I found this privacy fence and then I put this privacy fence up. I'm not really happy with it because of the lay of the land. I don't think it's secure. I think it's gonna fall. I may, I hope I don't, but I may have to go ahead and tear down this entire fence right here that I spent a lot of time building, tear the whole thing down and then just build it like this with tarps and bamboo and then put that bamboo fence over it. Um, I've really enjoyed working in my yard. Um, I do have some lighting that I want to show y'all real quick. See what Texas weather does. That was actually <laughs> had two by fours and all kinds of stuff to reinforce it. But it just, it just destroyed it. These two things won't leave my yard. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. They're up here in my window all the time. They're just as cute as they can be, but they're wild. And we can't catch them to take them to the pound. So, look, his brother's back there. I don't know if y'all can see him. Anyway. Here we go. This is the lighting. I'm gonna paint these. These are really pretty at night. I have solar lights inside of here that recharge every day. So at night they come on all by themselves. You don't have to worry about a fire. If the lights go out at your house, you can stick the solar lights in your house and in the morning stick them back outside and they will recharge. I'm gonna paint these real pretty. Uh, lost all of my garden. Oh y'all, the whole thing. Got my compost over there. Completely lost my garden except for when it started raining. We had a bad drought when it started raining my squash started growing like crazy I got yellow flowers, which is fantastic But it's getting hot again, and it's starting to die So I'm gonna replant my garden on the other side where the tarp got tore up So just do what you can do where you are um, I you know you there's a lot of stuff that you can do right where you are um, if you're in a position that you can't get out, you can't do anything, do some art at home. Grab some leaves, grab some limbs. Do something to connect to the earth. Put your feet on the earth several times a day, barefoot. Stretch up to the sun. Breathe. Connect back with nature. That's the way we were created. Learn how to grow your own food. If you're in an apartment, learn what you can grow inside. But anyway, I guess we'll end it with a little smiley man down here. Y'all have a great day.